Hello, my name is Mr. Slife and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. Now before I get started and select a new mission, I want to do something which is buying a new satellite. Because I always like to have two, even though I cannot install two now, I can only install one. I think it's better to have one Commander. made in time because they require um, 20 days to be made so I only have to construct a new satellite uplink so that I can uh, use the new satellite so let's do that now we've got only eight credits left so we can't do anything except waiting for the research and looking for a new mission let's scan for activity Hopefully. Left, okay. Hopefully the research will be done before the next mission. New generator. Power generator complete. Okay. And no. Ooh, UFO. <sighs> okay. Let's try to intercept it. I hate this because there's not much I can do. It's quite random what will happen. The first UFO should be easy because it is a small one. But later in the game I will probably have some problems with the UFOs because I tend to forget to upgrade my interceptors. This is all automatic, I'm doing nothing. And he hit. And light damage, so there will probably be. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central left. Alright, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Super satellites. Can look through clouds. Still one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Roger that. Yes, let's send the Sky Ranger. The same team as before. I think I don't... Yes, he's still wounded, so... Let's use those three... Four guys. Pardon me. Yes. Let's go. Touching down. Let's begin the assault on this... Spacecraft. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. Yeah, it looks okay. like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. They will, they will. Okay. Okay. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. So I think the alien craft should be somewhere around here. So I will try to move my guys there. I think the first two or three the times no alien should appear, so I should be relatively safe to move them up without using overwatch, but I, I I don't know, many things have changed with enemy within so I would rather be cautious than go ahead first so, let's go overwatch, 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 change to your pistol and overwatch Oh, I see the small melt canister here. 
so there will probably be some aliens around here. I I will I will move her up here. Oh, three turns. Good. I I should if I dash her here. She should be able to reach it next round without dashing. And she is safe. Okay. I will dash him here. Even though I can't put him on overwatch, as I said, I don't think it's really necessary in the beginning. At least I hope it isn't. So, you moved, you moved, okay. So she's gonna be the only one on Overwatch with a pistol, which will not be of much use, but yeah, the sound is coming from above. So, I hope I can activate it di diagonally. No, I can't. She's in a bad spot now. If any alien is here, she will get shot. It's, or it's very likely that she will get shot. So I will move Conrad around here. Ariana will stay here with a sniper rifle. And someone cannot move anywhere particular good. So I will move him here. It's only low cover, but it should be enough. And you go on Overwatch, as well as you. No, they are the first. Come to me! Come back! She cannot see them, which is unfortunate. You can collect the mend... melt? Sorry. You can see them. You have no grenade. You have no grenade either. Where did I? Oh, oh here. Yeah. He sh cannot reach them. He Is this cover? It's cover. It's risky to move him up there because I don't know where the rest of the aliens are. And I think there will be some kind of alien which I trigger in the ship. So if I move too close, I think I will trigger him. So I will move someone up to this tree and just try my best. 60 or 46 percent. There was nothing. But well, it was a try. I will move him here, so with run and gun, so he can flank this alien and hopefully kill him. 66%. I'll take it. No! Why? Why? Why do you have to shoot above them? Just aim low and you will hit. Like her, but she did not hit very hard, sadly. Uh, I will move my sniper here, up here. She cannot shoot with her sniper rifle anyway, so I can as well dash with her. That's nice. They are mending together. So this one is now buffed. He has one more hit point. I don't know if he have, has any other bonuses. But the nice thing is, if I shoot this one and kill him, the other one dies as well. It's like a, I don't know, short circuit. Okay, that's taken care of. I am still hesitant to attack the ship directly, but the last sectoids might still be in there, so... Oh no, oh, I messed up. 
I will move all my guys next to the door and open it to trigger the alien and then maybe find the other ones. That's affirmative. Eyes on uh, targets can't be uh, right. I went too far. That's a being of almost pure energy. Okay, then let's hope you can kill that being of almost pure energy. That's not good. Oh. No. I am a, in a bit of a pickle now. He will take his shot and... She barely lived. She barely lived. So, he has sights on those two. And he has sights on this one and this one. I should be able to... No, there's a fire so I can't run him here. I should be able to kill him if I run her here, but then... Maybe I will do this. Here, she should flank him, yes. She should flank him 100%. This should be enough. No! Why? Why? Why two damage? That's not good. I wanted to heal her, so if they take pot shots at her, she won't immediately die, but that's not gonna happen. I can't move him anywhere really good, so I I'm gonna risk it, move him here. He has no really good cover, but I hope he will kill him. Please kill him. No! Okay. Okay. Please shoot at him. No. Did I dash? I thought I didn't move him this turn. Was this a dashing move? Okay. Brown. Wendy Brown. It was nice knowing you. You are dead. Hopefully she can get one of them with Overwatch. Soldier dead within seconds. I hate attacking a ship, especially if you have sectoids running around, because or, or other aliens. Because if you come too close, you will trigger this douche, and he can mess up your line defense, like he did with me. So, I if I could dash, yes I will run and gun, dash up to here, so he has cover from the sectoids. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, and shoot him in the back. At least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. That's what you get for killing one of us. Well, at least <laughs> our heavy will be up soon. I can't really do anything with her. I'd like to avoid any further casualties. I'm on it, Commander. So I would love to kill the guy he's men he mends with. But I don't think if I move her here, she can immediately kill him. Let alone see him. She can, but the grenade... No, the grenade is not enough. And the pistol should not deal enough damage. Yeah, after two. I don't think she would kill him. So... I will... Good cover. Um, I will try. 70%. Maybe. Sadly, no. So she 
can do whatever. Just try it. Two damage. Better than nothing. Oh, one damage. He's, that means he will be wounded. You please stay there. Yes, and please don't hit. You did not do what I told you. So, you will die. Or not. Uh, okay. You will move up to here. Shoot him. Kill him. Thanks. You have only one shot left, but you should be able to hit from here. Yes, okay. So, 37% only. Okay, let's try. Yay! Uh, XCOM Bridge has lost one. <sighs> but at least we got both hit. Canisters. Killed in action, Squaddy Wendy Brown. She had two kills, it was in two missions. And our oh, sniper, sniper is wounded, yes. That's not good. Defender medal. There's a special capability for this medal, rename it and award it to a soldier. Huh. Two damage. Flight you can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. That's cool. That's new. Um, I would do this right after I visited the Several Grey Market. Some members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Yeah, I will probably not sell anything, even. If I have re researched it, I will only sell things where it says it's specifically this item has no research benefit and can be sold freely. And I hope to get lots of them, so I will make lots of money from the black market. Because that's usually how I get all my money in the beginning. So now we've got 58 credits. And let's take a look to the barracks. View the memorial. Squaddy. Wendy Brown. Operation Unceasing Smoke. Killed by a light plasma rifle. At least she was killed by an outsider and not a sectoid. So it's kind of an honorable death. Defenders Medal. Awards remaining. Rene Medal assigned power. Must assign an ability to this medal before you can award it to a soldier. Never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed. That's interesting. So I can make some kind of super soldier by giving them medals. It's interesting. Medkitson. I. I try to not get my guys wounded or killed, so this would be waste. I hope I do not need it. So I will use the medicates and restorative mists heal 2 HP more when used on the soldier. Permanent, yes, continue. Um, defenders medal, yes. And I will give it to Saman Pillai, because he's our only support. Um, although, yes, I will do it. That's cool. Nice feature. So, 
I might no, I will use the scanning for next time. So that was episode number three of XCOM Enemy Within. I hope you liked it, and until next time.